Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for being here this evening. My name is uh, Coach Monsanto. I'm the athletic director here at Gulf High School, and it gives me great honor to be here this evening to recognize a former Gulf High football player, but not only that, a wonderful man, husband, father, friend to everybody, and um, thank you for being here. I'd, I'd like to share I'd like to share my personal experience if I could. I wrote it down because I'm, I'm a little nervous talking in front of a crowd like this, but um, I did want to share some of my, my thoughts. Um, the summer of 2015, I was at a local establishment ce celebrating a friend's birthday. I met a gentleman in conversation. He introduced himself as Chuck. At the time, I didn't know who he was, exactly who I, and who exactly I was talking with. This massive man who walked with a limp, wearing a fanny pack, and who had hands the size of a catcher's glove. As we talked, our conversations led to me sharing with him what I do for a living and where I work. I told him I was the athletic director at Gulf High School and current head intern football coach. At the time, he grinned and said he gradu graduated there and played some football. I then knew who I was talking with. I asked him, are you Chuck Pickock? I told him I, it was an honor to meet him. I shared with him as a child what, what a Tampa Bay Bandits fan I was. He was one of my favorite players because of the autograph he gave me back then. From that point on, it was where it led, up, led us up to where we're all standing here tonight. I sat with him for the remainder of that night, pulling stories from him. His personality and charisma kept me wanted to listen to all he had to say. He shared with me so many stories and experiences with the USFL and the NFL, stories about why he was released from the Eagles, which I will not share this evening. But if you know Chuck and his temperament and passion for playing, you can only imagine that storyline. He also shared with me his thoughts on the way kids practice and play football now. Once again, I will not say it was a G-rated explanation. Speaking with him, you knew the passion and love for the game this man had. He then went to show me his interest in wanting to coach here and help out at Golf High. I took a deep breath, and that is when I thought, how much do we have in the budget for fines and ejections for coaches? Only, only because of hearing all the stories of him as a player that evening. Chuck Pickock, a true high school All-American, Tulane University All-Dome team inductee, and the first, hall, first Gulf High graduate to go on to the NFL to this day. There's only been two. At that moment, when I left the establishment we were at, I knew what I wanted to do. I approached Principal Ms. Kim Davis, who's standing next to me this evening, with my idea. She was 100% in support of doing this, what we're about to do. With that being said, it gives, it gives me great honor to present Joni Pickoff with Chuck's junior year football jersey that was donated to us by one of his former teammates, Ralph Nelson, who is here this evening. And if I, if I'm, I'm gonna steer off my notes here, which I, I know I should. But when that jersey arrived, it was such an overwhelming feeling to feel that material and know back in 1976 and 75 those jerseys were worn on this field. And, and it's, it's just an amazing feeling as, as a football fan, coach, and love for the game. As athletic director at Gulf High School, and with the permission of Principal Kim Davis to retire the number 75 in honor of memory of Chuck Pickock's accomplishments. Please give me your attention to the press box as we reveal his number 
that will forever look over our field. Ladies and gentlemen, if I could end with this. In my heart, my plan was to have this happen while Chuck was here with us. But I got a great feeling he's looking down and smiling right now. Your legacy will continue forever here at Gulf High School and, and in his amazing city, and in the amazing city of Newport Ritchie on February 20th, the mayor, Rob Marlowe of Newport Ritchie has, na has named September 23rd, Chuck Pickock Day. To all the family, friends, former teammates, thank you for being here this evening. Thank you from Golf High School, and thank you from me. Thank you coming out and just recognizing the amazing man, athlete, and person, my husband, Charles Pickett. I have to still say it is, because he's always in my heart. And he just loved everybody and just amazing. And this is amazing. And I know he's here watching. And thank you. say thank you all. I'm Chuck's sister and we went to Gulf High together and we had the, those were the best years of our lives at Gulf High and all of you know the antics that we all pulled all the time and I just say thank you to Gulf High School for honoring my brother. He is a legend. He's my hero and I thank you from the bottom of my heart as my family. Thank you. Go Gulf High. At this time, with the permission of all our guests, if we could get everybody on the field and just gather over here where we could do a group picture real quick.